Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and on this channel I am documenting my journey playing Gran Turismo. Well at the moment it's Gran Turismo but it could be any online or offline racing sim. For now we're looking at Gran Turismo and I should really be heading over to the World Circuits to do the next race which just happens to be in Asia and I've got the uh, Sukaba circuit is unlocked and also I've got the Suzuka circuit but I really want to get on with the licenses I have done the first couple of licenses and I'd really like to get on with the International B so the National B and the National A are both done and I've got gold throughout but I really want to get on with the International B now this is building on what we've been doing before so you can see they're all intermediate tasks. Again, I think there are 10 tasks to do and the corners are getting a little bit more difficult. The cars are getting a little bit faster. And yes, I don't imagine I'm gonna be doing this in the half an hour or so that I've taken to do previous licenses. I'm expecting this to get just a little bit more difficult. So the first challenge that we've got is a long corner and we've just got to try and get through this as quick as we can we're going to need to keep the throttle stable experiment with various lines if you're not sure how to do these and you haven't seen my previous videos the demonstration will take you through it for some of the more complex tasks I tend to find that the demonstration that there's too much information to take in turning points breaking points lines exit lines all sorts of things I tend to learn more by actually doing things myself so I tend to just dive straight in and that's what we're going to do here so we're in the Corvette nice and quick and we've just got to be careful that we don't throw it off the track which we've done so I know that I need to lose some speed through that corner Take it down a gear, just off, just ugh. trying to feather the accelerator, steer into the slide, dancing on the brake as well. Another slide there, just trying to correct that. Lost that one. Okay, this uh, Corvette is a bit of a handful. You now the traction control I've got on one. So you can see the ghost car is braking there. I'm going to leave it in fourth gear. Just feathering the throttle through here. And then as soon as we get off the corner and we're straight, we'll bury the throttle and that should be gold. So significantly more difficult than the other licenses. Oh, we've surprisingly gone top, which is quite nice. We've got 6,000 credits as a reward. And then we'll move on to the second. So that's probably the easiest of the challenges. This one, it looks like we've got a tight left, right, right, left. I think I remember this corner. It's on the Daytona, yeah. And uh, this is one where you really throw it through here. It's all about the turning, the curves, not taking too much of the curve, but also getting a good exit speed. So this one normally takes me a little bit of time because you've got to watch for this turn in and not overshoot it. And this is one that I could probably benefit from looking at the tutorial on, but uh, we're going to come down here, we'll go leave it in that gear. Once we, I can't even remember what turning point we had there, I missed it. Just concentrating to get out of that corner there okay we've managed to go gold on that one um, the turning point was really just feel uh, the rest of it was just sort of feeling my way through there um, I can know I can go a lot lot faster I, I broke too early uh, the turning wasn't great the exit wasn't great but we're just looking to get gold and again as before with the other licenses Let's just see how quickly we can go through these and just achieve gold. If I want to 
beat my friends or try and beat my friends even though they're setting great times uh, I'll need to come back to that at another time but for now this is all about just getting through the challenges so here we've got a tight left hander into a long curve which comes back on itself into a tight left and then a run to the line so again we'll just give this one a try traction control is on one we're in a Lexus here on sports hard tyres so um, not really overly forgiving Whoa, and we slid straight off there very slidey these tyres do not have a lot of grip so we're going to need to slow it down significantly into the corner and as the ghost car does oh still went a little bit wide got a lot of oversteer there ghost car has certainly got away from us at the moment can we get back onto the back of the ghost car starting to drift out wide a lot of understeer there into oversteer just trying to correct that watching out for the pendulum effect where it comes back trying to get it slowed down for that corner didn't really apex didn't really catch that gear properly concentrating on too many other things running to the line trying not to go out too wide we got a 38 three so that's not quick enough we'll try that one again i'm assuming as i'm getting the ghost car straight away that i've actually got the demonstration ghost car on uh, as i've said before sometimes if i'm struggling then i'll put my own ghost car on to see how i'm doing against my own ghost car rather than the demo ghost car this looks a bit better concentrate come on with your concentrate don't accelerate too hard and slide out oh, got a bit of a slide on there we need to break down into this corner too looking for the apex We've got a bit of a slide again ever so slightly this car try and get it up into third gear come on fourth gear let's get the traction off this corner that's close enough i think 37.3 that will do me very slidey that car very very slidey that was very much a case of working the steering wheel oh top of the board there that's nice uh, just trying to work the steering wheel with the understeer and the oversteer just to uh, to keep the car going in a straight line and try and get the power out of the corners okay so that's number three done number four this one actually looks pretty quick it's uh the tokyo expressway avoid the walls um okay so urban tracks yeah all the way up to the wall And it's all going to be about keeping this one out of the wall. I'm not a great fan of the wall circuits. I love Monaco as a Formula One track, but boy, when I play it on the Formula One game, do I visit the wall a lot. And unfortunately, in Gran Turismo, I often visit this wall too. Now, I've got to keep the power in here because that ghost car seems to be getting away from us. He's took a slightly different line. I'm going to have to back out of that. Oh, very close to the wall we're going to break into this corner and I didn't break early enough okay we need to get the speed scrubbed off big time but also I need to be thinking about my lines through here uh, that was pretty pretty terrible if I'm perfectly honest to just watching the ghost car watching the line so the ghost car actually comes right off the racing line there try and get this turned in comes right off of the racing line slows down a lot earlier than I did and I went down too many gears and I turned it around ah maybe on this track I need to keep the gears up to keep the traction again the uh, ghost car is way off off the line really I keep saying it I really ought to turn this racing line off and find my own lines through here that work for me this isn't quick enough okay so he breaks at the beginning of those white lines and i've still gone down too many gears i need to go down one gear only so hit the white lines down one gear try and get it turned in
white line, one gear. Oh, I still, still got a slide on. Okay, need to turn in slightly later there. So as per usual, you get one or two that are easy. You get one that bites you. Find it to be a lot harder. And the others are just watching my way through here. Reasonably be okay with the line through there rather than the ghost line. Just down one gear, just get the braking done in a straight line through there. That's the key thing, is getting the braking done in a straight line, otherwise you are gonna visit the wall. 31.8, that's nowhere near quick enough. I'm gonna exit out of there. I'm gonna go and visit the settings and we're gonna change the assist settings. I do not want the driving line. I'll leave the corner indicators on at the moment, but I'm gonna take the um, driving line off. And also I'm gonna to change to the personal best and offset myself by, I'm actually gonna offset myself by itself by half a second, I think on this one. So what we're aiming to do is to get on the back of our own ghost car which means that we will then reduce the time by half a second. The ghost car is actually already very close to us. Now, having the line off means that we're really reading this track a lot more. We're watching all of the apexes, which I think is all the more important on a street circuit, rather than concentrating on, on a yellow line certainly easier without that line on but we're still quite a fair way away from our ghost car we've got 32.4 that's only bronze but that was the first time without the line so let's go again it looks like this is going to be one of those that i struggle with and then suddenly it will just come right so we need to be a bit braver through here Get the car over to there, bring it across without hitting the wall. It broke, get it slowed down. Bit of a slide on through there. Got a better exit. This could be a little bit quicker. How much quicker? A 31.5, it's still silver. And I thought that that was quite quick. I do hate this track. I'm saying this to all these tracks. I don't really hate all these tracks. I just find some of these challenges really, really difficult. And we're only into the intermediate level. Uh, you've got the super license to do yet, which steps it up a whole new gear. And then we're gonna start getting drifting challenges, I think, and we're gonna get rally challenges and all sorts of horribleness. Oh, big slide there. That's going to have hurt. That will have hurt. 32 once, so we still bronze. Oh, come on. Concentrating. A little bit too deep there. Try to carry a bit more speed through. Don't get disheartened if you get into this situation. Some people on radio will spend two or three hours trying to do some of these challenges. Some of them are really hard. If you want, you can just settle for bronze. And I think that once you've got your national license, it pretty much unlocks most of the game. So you don't even really need to do these these upper licenses if you really don't want to. Oh, just let the ghost car come back us a little bit there. Is that a little bit quicker? And still silver. Still got to try it. Keep going. I could turn the traction control off to zero. People will be screaming at me. Turn the traction control off. Turn the traction control off. But. I know that if I do that, I am going to spin this car. I am not yet 
good enough to have traction control off. It's something that I am working on and I will need to continue to work on. Ah, too much of a slide, but it's it's just something that I, I, I just can't work with at the moment. Um, my skill levels are just not, not good enough. Oh, we're bouncing around between bronze and silver. This is woeful. After the first few that were really quick and easy, and we did okay, this one is proving to be a bit of a pain. Let's try and hug that a little bit more. Come over here, just try and straighten that up a little bit more. Try and carry through a bit more speed through there. Get it broke right in a straight line. Just fast through here, just trying to carry the speed through. Come on, don't slide, don't slide. Get it changed up. Come on, come on. Oh, once again, so near, yet so far. Sometimes this game can drive you to distraction, but the challenge the challenge of being able to do these things and to get gold and to get these tracks done. But the challenge is all what this job, what this game is all about at this stage. And I, oh, that's not quick enough. I love the challenge. Absolutely love the challenge that this game throws down. And just keep on trying and trying and just try harder and just look for different lines, different areas where you can get a bit more speed. I didn't quite change up quickly enough there. Need to stop talking. Hug that line. Get it turned across. Can't be brave, be brave. Just try and carry the speed through there. No, big slide again. And another slide. I am getting two big slides, which means I'm just too much speed. too deep that was too deep just wondering I'm just going to take the traction control up to three just to see what happens slightly wrong. I'm not sure whether that's the traction control fighting me or whether I was uh, just got my line wrong. So I'm going to just try traction control 3 again. So we're going to hug this side, get it turned across, flick it. Again. Oh, I didn't quite get the... Uh, I'm just trying traction control on three because most of this is not acceleration. Once you get up to speed, you're carrying that speed through. So it's not like we need the traction control uh, holding us back as we come out of corners. I'm just using it to see if that helps me just to push on through this corner a little bit more. Big slide. Do you know what? I'm not sure that that's helping. This is a bit madness. Let's just try the traction control full off. Oh, this is going to be fun. This should be interesting. Oh, 
don't know. I need to brake just a little bit earlier. I can leave a traction control on one. I need to brake a little bit earlier for that corner switch just before the white lines. I think maybe I'm carrying just a, a tiny little bit more speed through here now, which means I've got to adjust my braking point here, which then gives me a better turn in there, a better run through here. Up the gears. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, no. So near, yet so far. But we know we can do it. We know we can do it. We know what we've got to do. We're learning all the time. Now we've got to slide through there. I don't think that'll be good enough with that slide. What we're going to do here now is um, I'm just going to take the ghost settings down. I'm actually going to offset that by point 0.1. It might be a little bit too close. Might actually have the ghost car on the way now. I really almost want to be on top of this ghost car as we're doing this. Oh, just a little bit wide. I've got a bit of a slide through there. Got a slide through there as well. And the ghost car's getting away from me. Perseverance. Now what you can do is you can obviously leave this as a silver. You go on and do the rest of the license if you wish. Because I want to go gold, that's my challenge and my aim, I tend not to do that. I tend to just go for it. Try and get gold on each one rather than coming back. God, this is close. Let me quick up. 31175. Oh, sorry guys. Made a meal of that one. But you're seeing that every run that you do, you're looking for a little bit more. So I was coming across the hatchings, then holding it on the left hand side, then cutting across to carry more speed through the corner. Then when we got to that tight left hand, it was breaking just before the white lines initially it was on the white lines then it was just up just before the white lines as I was carrying more speed then it was getting the car sliding around we tried traction control which really didn't work and you can see on this replay that uh, we have got the car quite sliding through these corners and that was the only way that we could actually do it but we have done gold on that challenge which is good I'm in third place and I'm really not too bothered about that one. Let's move on. Oh, we're going to be on 3 million credits soon for the driving marathon, so another ticket. If you haven't seen my video about the fix or the con on tickets, go and check out my channel and you'll see I opened up two tickets and was not happy with the results. Okay, so this one, we've got a long, fast drag down to some tight S's. Uh, we're in the Mitsubishi Evo, which is going to be a fun car to drive. Oh, it's on dirt. No. Okay, there are two things that I hate. One is drifting. I cannot drift to save my life. And the other one is the rally stages. I always, always struggle with these. And, um, I'm going to be honest with you, the first time I did this in the game, 
Uh, I actually called on my nephew to help me to do the rally stages because I just couldn't get them done. I have since worked on my rally and um, have tried to get better. So I refuse oh, to cheat and give this to somebody else to do this time. There you go, you see I'm giving away all my secrets. And I'm just gonna come up over the top. Come on, please be good, please be good. See a 37, it's only bronze. I need to go so much faster. Where am I going to find all of that time? It's nearly three seconds. Oh man. We're on traction control. Oh, we haven't even got traction control available to us. All over the place. All over the place. How I didn't hit the wall. In fact, I should have just let it hit the wall, I think. Just get it turned in, get it up the hill, come on. Soaring away at the steering wheel here. Just to try and get it round. Oh, we're gonna catch the wall. No, we didn't. We just got away with that, but we are slower. Let me just double check which um, which ghost we've got on. Uh, we'll go for the ghost. So we've got personal best on. I'm actually going to turn the gold one on and I'm going to push him out by half a second. Uh, so that gives me something realistic to chase. Although I am so far away from him, it's just not funny. There's the ghost car. There's the ghost car. Oh, different lines through there. So that's going to give me something to think about. Different lines through there, buries the brake pedal. Big slide through there. Well, we did actually catch him up a little bit. Okay, having the ghost car on this time, for the gold ghost car is really helping no end. So 35004. That is a lot, a lot better. I think I'm going to stick with the demonstration ghost car for the moment rather than putting my own on. We're obviously getting away from the line. I think he took a much tighter line through here than I did. Just coming for that corner marker. That's thrown me really wide. I'm not sure that that really worked for me, but it's something I'll need to persevere with. We did then manage to catch up with him up here. Just trying to get it spun around. Come on, come on, come on. That's not quick enough. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yes. Oh, get in there. Oh, oh, oh. I hate rally stages. I hate rally stages. Oh, that was that was tiring. I'm just gonna let's just watch the replay on this one. Oh, my heart is beating. Wow. So the key there was to lose my own ghost and just put the demo ghost on and just watch some of the lines that it was taking and mimic some of those lines. I was quicker through there, although I. I've got more speed that I could find at the uh, the first part of the track, so clearly there is a lot more time to be had. I don't feel that I did that last corner very well either, so lots, lots more time to be had. We've gone ghost, uh, we've gone gold. Sorry, we're in third place. I'm reasonably happy with that. Again, for the video, all I want to do is get gold, so we'll continue to push on. We're about half an hour in so far, so we're about halfway through this challenge. Uh, we've got a nice 3 Series M3 BMW for this one, where it seems that we've got two similar corners, which we're going to need to take in the wet and then a fast exit. So again, this one is all going to be about acceleration, where to brake, where to turn in, 
and just taking it easy. So again, he's saying there, uh, you know, be careful with the line, be careful with getting the throttle down. This is all basically be careful. I've got the ghost car way too close to me. Whoa, and we're going around rear wheel drive. Let's just exit out of there. Go into the settings, go settings. We're going to push this out to half a second, I think. Uh, we go with the demonstration ghost. Did I? Yeah, I want that to be half a second, please. Um, half a second, I think. And okay, so rear wheel drive, hence the reason for getting the acceleration in nice and smoothly. And I think what I'm also going to do on here is just oh, watch the gears. I think I'm going to take this up an extra gear very quickly. So I'm actually going to come up into third gear for this first corner. Whoa, still going around. Managed to catch that one. The ghost car is going away from us. Whoa! We've got next to no brakes in this car. I'm going up the fourth gear just for the traction. We're now going to have to chase this ghost car quite, quite significantly if we want to do this. And we're sliding off. Oh! I did say that the intermediate licenses are a real step up from the Nationals. Just using the gears in a straight line just to get the car slowed down and then taking the gears up to get the traction and to stop the wheels from spinning. So playing with the gears a little bit, also watching where the ghost car is braking I feel as if we are way too far away at the moment and we really need to get the power down out of this corner. I'm in fifth gear, which is probably, I think I should have been in fourth gear there. Definitely fourth gear. I was just not getting any traction at all. So for that last part, the long, long curve, I think that we can get away with uh, fourth gear through there. Again, learning from what we've done previously. Took a slightly different line there. So I can get a slightly different line through there. So coming through here, I want to try and get it up to leave it in fourth gear. Probably could have gone down to third gear there actually. But we have got gold. I think we could probably gone to third gear and got a lot more drive out of the corner. Um, but hey, a gold is a gold. And that's what we're looking for. We've actually gone fastest of everybody on that one. That's a real surprise. Um, lots more time to be found there, I believe. Okay, so that is number six. We'll move on to number seven. Oh, Nordschleifer. We do love this track. Uh, we're in a... a Taken Turbo, which is a stompingly quick car, and we've got a series of fairly tight turns. Hopefully, this isn't in the wet, otherwise, it will be horrible. Exit speeds is what we're looking for, so slow in, fast out. And we need to get a lot of speed for that final run. So, we've got have we got two tight corners or have we got one tight corner? Oh, we've got the carousel. Oh, we're on auto. This is an automatic car, so we've got no gears to worry about. This is all about concentrating on turning in. Oh, don't spin, don't spin. I managed to catch that. How did I catch that? Oh, we're going to go out this time. Yeah, okay. We're going to need to feather a little bit through that corner. Uh, this is one quick car. This is a totally different experience to the one that we just had. Oh, well, I'm going to try and work on carrying more speed through the carousel if we can. Um, this is a totally different driving experience 
to all of the other cars that we've just had. This is a fast, fast car. So we get, uh, he brakes there, gets it turned in. And we're nicely behind at the moment. Brake again, just to balance in on, on throttling and braking, dancing on the pedals all of the time. Again, no gears to worry about, so you, you're just really concentrating on getting it through those corners. We've gone gold at 27.8, not overly happy with that. That could be a lot faster. Uh, could well come back to that one at some point. Uh, but we've gone second, which is good enough for me. So we are starting to make a little bit of headway through this license. Although you can guarantee in a moment it's going to get difficult. And with this one, we've got one, two, three. This is almost like an elongated corner. We've got a nice car to do it in. And again, this is going to be carrying the speed through these corners. I can see there's going to be a bit of um, a little bit of feathering, a bit of brake balance, trail braking, a bit of everything in this one. So let's just see what happens. So the ghost car is braking quite heavily into there. And then just got to try and just get through these corners as quickly as we can. Let's just take a bit off of that one. We've all got a bit of a slide on there. That was pretty much all in fourth gear through there. A 19286 going straight away. That'll do. That'll do. So that was really just a case of watching those corners, just balancing the throttle and the brake just to push through. We've gone go, uh, top on that one, which is quite nice. Yeah, that one was really, let's just do the replay on that. Uh, I know we're wasting a little bit of time here. Let's just go for a different view. We've put on the replay options, display all. Okay, I'm still not quite getting these but if we just come back to the very beginning so we look to try and get an apex there drifted out onto the curbs there I could have gone a little bit deeper I was looking looking for that the um, gray part for the tire tracks there this one I tried to keep it in the middle of the track I didn't want to go too wide and again there I could have gone a lot wider look to cut that curb and then a run to the line. So looking at the tire tracks on some of those other curbs, there are certainly areas to go a lot quicker, but I decided to play a little bit safe and just keep it in the middle of the track. And hey, that worked out for us. So uh, yeah, probably more speed to be had, but that was good enough for me. It'd be nice if the rest of them are that easy. So we've got two more to do. This one is a straight drag down to a long, fast right hander into a tight left hander and we're in an older BMW what tyres have we got on this BMW we've got an elevation change in here yeah elevation changes do certainly upset the cars especially when you're going downhill into a corner again I'm not going to worry about the demonstration we're just going to try this straight away so we've got comfort mediums oh boy this car is going to move around Whoa, whoa. Oh, right, over the top, down the hill. Oh my word, okay, okay, okay. So this is going to be slow in, fast out. Breaking at the beginning of that curb, probably didn't need to take it down a gear, or oh, gone a little bit too deep there. And we're on the wrong side of the track for there, which is going to push us across into the wall. Another big slide, so the line was all wrong there. Uh, we've got bronze, which shows just how easy it is to get bronze on these challenges. But what we need to do then is to come up here. The ghost car barely breaks. We, we get a turn. Ugh. Well, we certainly need to brake. I don't think the, the bright lights are working on that ghost car. Then down along that side, cut across here. Try not to get it into a slide and just get it over the line. Still, that was really, really sloppy. 
Okay, I don't think we've got any brake lights on the ghost car, which is going to throw us off a little bit. So I'm looking for that turning point. So just a little bit of a brake just to balance it down. We're looking for the apex on that corner. We've drifted way too wide again to get it. Oh, okay. Ooh. This might be one to put the racing line on. I think we need to hug the inside of that corner a lot more. So I'm going to leave it in third gear. I'm just going to brake, hug this line. Oh, still didn't really hug it. Came off of the brakes. I wonder if second gear might actually help us through there. This might be one of those for the demonstration, you know. Sometimes we have to give in and give it the well. So I'm going to come down into second gear. So get it over the top here. A bit of a slide on. No, second gear definitely isn't right. Okay, I'm actually going to, on this occasion, got one more run. So just watching where this ghost car is going. It's actually blinks. So we go out wide there, then we come across come down the hill, keeping over, then we cut that, bring it out wide and across. That's a 19.3. Let's just try again. Just, I might actually need to bring the ghost car slightly more towards me. Recording, running when I can. So uh, I'm just in ghost settings here and I'm going to the ghost out so I've got the demonstration ghost in 0.5 I'm reasonably happy with that actually um, so this just looks like this is going to be one of those really awful challenges that takes a little bit of time so behind the ghost car so it runs forwards to the back of the curl corner we then turn and we come down this hill without getting too much speed across the curb and then it's a run to the line and a 19.2 so we certainly need to be closer to the ghost car than we are and I need to get a little bit more speed going down the hill I think so we're just gonna let it run get it coming back to us so running down the hill get the power down no sliding. Oh, we've got a bit of a slide on there, but we did actually get gold. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> That's not a great time, but that will do. We are gold and that will do for now. Again, I can come back and look at getting a faster time if we need to. For now, this is all about how quickly we can get gold on all of these. So we're now into the final exam where we got to put everything together. Now we're on trial mountain circuit and it's squiggly and we're just going to try this track and just see how we get on, see how quickly we can get gold. We've got corners, we've got elevation, we've got tight corners, we've got fast corners. We're really throwing everything at us here. Uh, traction control is on one. Okay, coming through this tunnel, I always manage to go out too wide. Always carry too much speed through there. You then really need to get it slowed down through here at that corner. Get the power back on as we get to this right-hander. I do actually know this track, and it is a really, really technical section. And as you come through here, you want to get us right over to the left hand side, over these hatchings, because that corner will suck you in. On this particular challenge, on this car with the sports hard tyres, you are going to slide and drift around. So through here, just losing a bit of speed, even that was too much, drifting out again. That was terrible. And now I'm on the back foot and trying too hard and we're going to catch there. 
Yeah, this is the final exam. This is where you've got to put it all together. And I remember the last time I did this, it took me a long old while to actually do this this challenge. You've really got to hug the inside of that curb, but you've then, uh, that um, curb there as you go through the tunnel. But you've then also got to get the speed through here. You can see how far away the ghost car is already. And again, this may well be for many of you, one, to have a look at the, at the demonstration, see what gears the demonstration car is running, what lines they're taking. We've got through that corner. And again, this is very, very slow. And the ghost car isn't necessarily doing me any good. So I have got a lap in the bag. What I'm now going to do is come across the settings. Uh, we'll turn that one off. We'll pick up my own. Half a second will be fine because our best record is a 44.4 and we need a 42. So we've got to find two seconds. So I'm looking to stick with the ghost car four times to get through this. So I'm just going to come off the accelerator a little bit. Get, oh, no. Do with some lights through there. I'm going to stick with traction control one for the moment. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking, following this line, and I'm trying to follow the inside of that tunnel a little bit closer so that I can get a better run out of the corner. I'm then looking for this turn in point down into second gear to get some turn in and to get some traction off the corner up to third as we go across that coil corner there we're going to go down into second just to try and get some more turn in and speed off the corner but this particular one second again just to get some turn in straight away up to third gear trying not to run out too far into that corner and just a straight run to the lines. So that's a 44-1, we're still bronze. We still got an awful lot of time to make up, but you can see there that just chasing the ghost car, just getting further and further and further onto the back of the ghost car is, is giving you that half a second all the time. So if we can do the same here, get back onto the ghost car, and then just let this ghost car bring us through here come down to second gear, get it turned in over the top there, and try and get on the back of the ghost car, not letting go away too far. Remember that ghost car is still not gold. It's just going to get me another half a second towards the target if we can stay on top of the ghost car. So I'm going to take a lot more of the hatchings there, try and get a better exit. Is the ghost car going away or are we catching him? I think he's going away from us. So I might get a few tents there. We still only bronze. There's still a lot more to find. Okay, this is going to be quite the challenge. So again, I'm just trying not to upset the car, I'm trying to get more speed through there, a better exit out over the top. We got the better exit that time by holding the line. Oh, second gear, I did that too late, broke too late through there, which means I'm going to catch the corner, yep. I was just trying some different gears through there and some different lines. Sometimes it's not a good idea to try too many things at once. So for here, I'm just trying to get a better line through there so I can get a better exit. Now we come down to second gear, back up to third. Second gear just gets it turned in a little bit. Third gear means we get better traction. Same through here, I'm going second gear up to third as soon as we can. I'm not quite sure where the ghost car is. I'm not looking at that. I'm thinking about the turning point here. And then still in third gear, try not to let it drift too much. That's too much. Oh no. Ah. Oh. I should possibly have dropped it down a gear to get a better turn in, which would have kept us out of the wall. So back to square one, we're just trying to oh, too much speed through there. Knock it down into second gear. Let's just see if we can get on the back of this ghost car. So second gear, try and get this turned in over that curb. Okay, we are on the back of the ghost car, which is good. 
braking in a straight line. Just try and get it turned in, get it over the top here. Let's go second gear just to get it turned in. Third gear, let it run. See if we've got some more speed. Yes, it has. We have. That's better. That should have given us a half second. So we're still not gone silver. Wow. There's so much time that I need to find for this particular challenge. Decided to come through there in second to try and get a bit more speed. I'm going to come down into second again for this one, breaking in straight line, looking for the apex, let it drift out to the outside, up into third briefly, down into second, get it turned in, looking for the apex, get the acceleration down, up into third quickly, going to come down into second just to get the rotation, back up to third, that's going to keep it out of the wall. Come on, come on, come on. Have we taken another half second out of the time? Yes, it looks like we have a new record. We have actually finally gone silver and we're not a million miles away from gold now. That was so much, so much quicker. So the key there was more the gears. Now I've just got to remember what gears I used. I was just concentrating on so much that I can't remember. I think a lot of that was second gear, so I'm going to come out of there in second. We come up over the top. We're looking for the turn in. We're going to break in a straight line down into second, or still breaking through the corner, which is going to upset the car. Quickly up into third. We're going to second and break. Try and get the power down. I know that we did second through here. I'm going to go up into third quickly as I can. Just try and get more exit speed. Again, I'm using that second gear just to get the car turned in and settled. And yet again, how many times am I going to do this? I am fractions away from gold. Every single time. But it does show that we're just getting tense and tense and tense quicker. So now all we really need to do is to stay with and stay on this ghost car. So get down into second gear so we get the traction out of this corner, get it up into third once it starts flashing, second gear, get it turned in, come on, try and stay with the car, don't hit the curb, don't hit the curb. How we managed to keep that out of there, I don't know. Got to go up in to do the gears there, but second gear through here, up into third when it needs it, down into second to get this turn in, up into third to get the car balanced. I think the ghost car is running away a little bit. Maybe I should have stuck with second gear to get a little bit more drive out of the corner. And we go a quarter to one. Okay. This is all about the gears. Went down into second gear a lot sooner then, a lot earlier, just to see what difference that would make. Just trail braking a little bit, I hope, through there, just to get the uh, car balanced a little bit. Braking in a straight line, get back on the power as quick as we can. Up to third, down to second, watching for these hash, hash thingies. Leave it in second a little bit longer. Up to third. I don't think we've done it. I think we're too far away. I'm not quite sure where we lost the time on that one. Hmm. Now that was not quite so clever. Okay. Right, time to shut up and concentrate, Mitchell.
even one I go quiet, I can't do. So we're coming up for an hour on this one, I think. Do this license that's significantly longer than the other two licenses. It's not unexpected. Trying little things with the gears, little things with the acceleration and the lines. Ooh. Can't remember if this is my ghost car or the gold ghost car. Maybe it's time to put the gold ghost car. So we're close now. too much of a slide. Okay, I think it's time to put the um, gold ghost car on and just see if we can improve because as you can see there, I've now got to the situation where I'm not necessarily improving. So we go ghost settings, uh, we'll change it to the demonstration ghost, put him half a second ahead of us so what we need to do is try and just stay with the ghost now. So he's taken a, a, a much wider line into the tunnel. So that's something we can try. So we're losing time through there. losing time through there so we're losing a little bit of time everywhere in actual fact okay i think we can take a lot more of the curb than he does on the way out so that's an area where we can make up some time okay so going into the tunnel we went deeper and then cut across so that might be something to 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 think about Ooh. No, that really didn't work for me. It's put it into the wall. Let's give that another try. Oh, I didn't know I should, shouldn't have come off the brakes. I think we do need second gear through there, actually. Because he is running away from us a little bit. Or she. Who's to say it's the guy in that car? There's some pretty good women drivers out there, and I'm sure oh, that it could be a lady. Oh. oh, and I'm driving like a fairy. Come on. Turn, change it down the gear that soon is not working through there. I think what we need to do is change down to second halfway through that corner just to try and get the drive out of the corner. So if we leave it in third, brakes quite hard, get it to that point and second, get the drive out of the corner. It's still quite a fair bit quicker than us through there. Time to go away and take a break and come back. I wonder. We've been running for an hour. Fatigue could be sitting, setting in both mentally and physically. And we are still quite some way away from the ghost car. Okay. Right, one of the things that we'll do now. So we go back to our ghost car and we've got it set at 0.5. I'm actually going to bring him a lot closer, probably 0.2. So I can really see the ghost car a little bit better and maybe just try and follow him. So now we're going, so we're braking through there, down into second gear, we get a bit of a slide on, get it straightened up. 
again, he's already going away from us. Oh. No, all wrong. Might even be time to actually watch the demonstration car itself see what gears the problem is this is it's quite technical and remembering all of the lines and the gears and where he's braking and all of those things I said to you I don't tend to learn that way I tend to learn by doing and experiencing rather than studying but we really need to get a lot 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 closer Way too slow. We're not even setting new records at the moment. This is branch hatch all over again. Just spend an hour, just a few minutes doing the main part of the challenge, and then as soon as we get to the final exam, the big one, I'm going to spend ages and ages and ages working on it. The first gear is not going to work through there. I'm just going to spend ages and ages and ages just trying to get this one and, and you'll find it's always the same on one run everything will just come good and it's when you will be not thinking about things just feeling it everything will just come together Oh, there we go. It's not a great time, but as I said, sometimes you just relax and suddenly that gold comes good. I'm not going to bother with the replay. I'm very quick. Uh, I've got second, which is okay. Oh, nice one, Jonathan. That's a really nice time. So I think we are around about an hour to have completed our International B license. I'm glad to have got that one done. We've now got to move on to our International A, but we are now starting to get some decent cars. That is the Toyota GR Supra race car. And we do need a race car for one of our other races, if you remember, earlier in our career. So that will be a very welcome addition to the garage. I think we've got that for completing the challenge. We did go gold, so we get another car and we get that super fast Porsche. Nice, 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 nice. That was worth holding out for those golds rather than giving in. Like I said, you can just go bronzes. There's no need to go golds, but you get some nice bits and pieces coming your way when you go gold. So, International B license in the bag. Never gonna need to do that again unless I want to go back and beat some of my friends. But I'm not too worried about that. Now we need to move on to International A. Oop, let's come out of there, don't need to do that. So, uh, International A where we have got some really really nice fast cars to look forward to some really interesting track sectors to do wow this is going to be tough oh look at that last one back onto the Nordschleife and a really twisty section deep forests Fisherman's Ranch, that's going to be a rally with some really tight corners. The uh, Lamborghini Diablo. Wow, we'll keep that one for another time. So, that is our International B license done. 
thank you ever so much for watching if you're still with us congratulations on working with me right the way through to this part of the video if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing if you are back again then fantastic to have you along on this journey i'm thoroughly enjoying if you like this video please give it a thumbs up but for now that is it i will see you on another video coming very soon will it be the international way or will we go back to the tracks not quite sure see you then take care bye bye